the Tory of Guinea. John May lost the election to Adama Barrow in December. After initially accepting the result, he later rejected it, triggering a crisis that could have led to military intervention. Al Jazeera's Nicholas Hart reports from Dhaka in neighbouring Senegal. We have looked through the document, the, the, the agreement that was signed by the United Nations, the African Union, um, and um, Yaya Jame. Essentially, it says that um, there can be no prosecution against Yaya Jame, his family, or his entourage. There will be no seizure of his assets, and there will be no witch hunts, and he can come back to the country any time. Well, it sounds like a good deal for Yaya Jame, but uh, we have to bear in mind that this is a political document, not a legally binding document, so it still brings hopes for some who are hoping to to, to, to prosecute um, Yaya Jame or those in the security uh, services, especially a uh, human rights organization who have said that they have uh, committed um, gross um, human rights violations such as torture and forced disappearance. Um, it gives them the opportunity perhaps to, to hold them into account, to hold Yaya Jame into account. Now he's out of the country in Guinea. We hear that he might be going to Malabo in Equatorial Guinea. Now Equatorial Guinea is not a signatory of the International Criminal Court. So there's no chance if he goes there that he will be prosecuted. We saw Yaya Jame early on just take off, leave Gambia after 22 years in power. And this was done by the vote of young Gambians who took to the streets, who casted their va ballot box, and really got him out of power despite him not wanting to let go. Without any protest, no violent protest, it was a peaceful protest. It was, it was a protest that was done in Gambia, but also on social media, and it was just too much for Yaya Jame not to ignore it. They were able to really change, bring change to, to Gambia. So really a historic moment for Gambians, but also for, for, for people in West Africa, and for people who believe that there can be democracy in this region.